On April 22, 1920, after not hearing from his neighbors the wolves for two days, fellow farmer John Kraft began to worry. Although the weather was bad that morning in Turtle Lake, North Dakota, the wolves had left their clothes drying on their outside clothesline. Kraft thought this was unusual for the family, so he decided to check in on them. As he walked up to the wolf's home, he heard some pigs, making a ruckus in one of the barns. When Kraft went to investigate, he discovered the bodies of Jacob Wolf and his daughters Maria and Edna maimed by the pigs and partially hidden by hay and dirt. The bodies of Jacob's wife, a cousin and neighbor, named Jacob Hofer, and the rest of the wolf's children Bertha, Lydia, and Martha were found in the cellar of the house. The only survivor of the slaughter, the wolf's eight-month-old daughter, Emma, lay in her crib unhurt. With the exception of Martha, who had been killed with an axe, the other seven victims had all been blasted by a shotgun. John Lair, another neighbor of the family, was arrested and charged with the murders in May. According to Lair's confession, Jacob pulled a shotgun on him while the two men were arguing outside the wolf's home. As Lair tried to grab the gun away from Jacob, he accidentally shot Jacob Hofer and Jacob Wolf's wife. He shot Jacob Wolf next, and then went after Maria and Edna, killing them in the barn. After he killed the other three girls inside the house, Lair moved the bodies into the barn and basement. Later in jail, however, Lair retracted his confession. There no physical evidence to implicate him. Lair had confessed to the murders after spending a single day in police custody, where he was beaten and pressured by the police to take credit. At one point, he was told that a lynch mob was waiting outside the jail for him. Until his death in 1925, Lair swore that he was innocent and attempted to take his case to the North Dakota Supreme Court. Although the case is officially closed, it's quite likely that Lair was a wrongly accused man, the victim of a corrupt police force desperate to pin the murders on the easiest person they could find.